everybody. Welcome to Orient Neighborhood Television. I'm Terry Stiles, and I'm sitting here with a group of people that were born and raised in Lake Orion. They're not necessarily born here, but they know a lot about Lake Orion. So we're going to have kind of a roundtable discussion today about some of the history of Lake Orion, mostly in the village. And I'm going to have John Ranville introduce everybody. John's sitting to my right here. John, welcome. I think we're going to have a fun discussion today. Thank you, Terry. Yes. I believe it uh, depends on how it gets started where it's going to be a great time. Uh, we're here just to highlight on some of the history that went on in the village and not village but Orion, uh, all of Orion and uh, uh, because I believe a lot of us lived it. Uh, we didn't read it in history books or from the library. We, we actually lived it or heard from uh, old timers older than us. Uh, what uh, went on here in Lake Corrine in the old days. And we in, sort of helped the write the history, right? Uh, well, <laughs> some of you did, yeah, some of gonna, us. Yeah, we're going right. to write it. Do you want to introduce okay. our guests? Uh, first guest would be Harry Stevens, a longtime resident of uh, uh, North Shore. Yep. Uh, my name is Harry Stevens, and some would know me by Chuck, which is the name I grew up with and almost graduated from high school in Lake Corrine with Charles on my diploma, and I've battled that in history as to who I really am, but my given name is Harry. I was born in 1941 on North Shore, and I currently live nine doors from where I was born and raised oh, in Lake Cool! Ray. How very cool. And our next guest would be Reba Beattie. Yep. Um, grew up on all parts of Lake Orion. I grew up off of Indian Wood, then moved to the Darling Cottage in the bay at yeah. uh, where Orion Marine currently still sits. Mm -hmm and now I'm on Bellevue. Uh, I do the historical boat tour now. I'm going into my 15th season, so this is really the best way for me to research. Thank you, Reba. Mm -hmm. Our next guest would be uh, <laughs> Carrie O'Brien McMullen. McMullen. Yeah. yeah. A longtime resident, uh, resident of Bellevue, and go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I was, uh, I was born in 1948, and um, we, uh, came back to the apartment above Ed's, that's that place downtown, the well, costumes and all Griggs, that. Yeah. yeah. Griggs Drugstore. Yeah. Griggs, <laughs> thank you, yes, Griggs Drugstore. And uh, yeah, uh, we lived up there until I was, I think, probably five, and then we moved over to Bellevue Island. And I lived there until I got married and left. So, um, but now I live on, on Claremont, right across from Roy Mickens, <laughs> which is handy because he's a master mechanic. <laughs> that is handy. <laughs> yeah, it is handy. Okay. Thank you, Carrie. And you, John? Uh, John Ranville, uh, born in 1949. Uh, I started my life at St. Joe's Hospital. <laughs> a couple days later, came back to the, uh, uh, lived off Heights Road, uh, actually next door to the Lake Orion Country Club. Nobody knows about that, but. Uh, used to be a country club in the whole subdivision from uh, 24 to Rick's Party Store mm -hmm. uh, to Clarkson Road was all called Lake Orion Subdivision. So, hmm. and uh, back in the 60s, uh, uh, the residents got together and bought the beach down there from uh, Rubelman, I believe it was. Oh, right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I've been here a couple years. And that beach is still there. It's yeah, on the big curve on Heights Road. On Heights Road, right. yeah. Okay, so I was also born in Lake Orion. I was born in Bunny Run. Um, my parents, I say, were the original flippers because we moved all over Lake Orion. We lived on, from Bunny Run, we went to Pine Tree, Indian Lake Road, uh, down to Central, back to Indian Lake Road, then back to Bunny Run. So we made a great big circle. Um, I no longer live there, and I'm not gonna tell you when I was born, but it was definitely in the 50s. And uh, going through these books and then listening to where, where and when, when you were born, where you lived, I'm so curious about all the history and the people in the community. I know you wanted to focus on the village. So if you could tell me the perimeters for people that don't know what is considered the village. I know um, even central Indian, Indian yeah, Wood Road. Basically from Elizabeth Street to uh, Heights Road, where Jacobson's is, uh, includes Bellevue Island, down Heights Road, the north side of Heights. 
uh, cuts across to Bellevue by Lakeview, uh, incorporates uh, Central Drive, and uh, Swiss Village it used to be Swiss called Village. Swiss Village. Yeah, that's right? Swiss Village Swiss over yeah. there, uh -huh. where Central is. Mm -hmm. uh, where Galloway. Do you remember how many Galloway. miles? Eleven miles of roads. Oh, I don't know what the roads oh, are, but yeah. I can say that around the lake, it's about 22 miles by sh the oh, shoreline. By, yeah. And then how far east does it go? Does it go into Bunny Run? Is that uh, part no, of the village? No, it stops right there, <coughs> Orange Road and... Uh, and Miller? Miller. Yeah. Oh, okay. It right. goes up... Uh, up Orion Road. goes up Orion Road to Merritt. Uh, 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 about to uh, Atwater, and then there's another section that cuts in called Grampian. Grampian. which mm -hmm. is uh, between Atwater and the cemetery out there, and there's a little dirt road that goes into a section that oh, is yeah, actually right. in the village there of five or six houses that are back down in that area along huh. Paint Creek. Isn't that interesting? That's a good-sized village when you yeah. compare yeah. that to Oxford. I don't think it's near that big in the Oxford village itself. Yeah. John, okay. I'm going to start with you. You say you came in directly from birth, you came into Lake Orion. Mm -hmm. Did you stay? Did you leave? Uh, I've only left a couple times, uh -huh. and that was, uh, uh, I was born here in 1949. I left in uh, 1969 when Uncle Sam says, uh, I got gotcha. you. And uh, yeah. I didn't want to go in the Army, so I enlisted. Uh, I enlisted in the Navy and uh, spent almost three years overseas and uh, came back and and uh, got my old job back. I uh, uh, was employed by the Village Lake Orion Public Works in 67 and spent 37 years as uh, a worker, a DPW director, and then another 16 years, I believe it was 16 years on the Village Council. So I had about 53 years on the payroll for the Village. <laughs> Serving the community, community, really. Yeah, and yeah. I was very active with uh, different uh, organizations. Uh, the Boat Club, Life Member, mm -hmm. Lions Club, Life Member, went through all the chairs. Mm -hmm. uh, just finished up a six-year tour with the commander of the Legion in, in Orion. And then uh, I've been dreaming about this for five years. I think I talked to Joe, he's in the other room, uh, five, six years ago about my dream about doing this and uh, uh, documenting the history. The history. Uh, this is the oral history of Lake Orion, right? Orion, yeah. So um, prior to us going on the air, we talked about changes that have happened and my perspective is I've been out of Lake Orion for a while, certainly not very far in, in Oxford, but I've seen a lot of changes and you say it hasn't changed that much. And Reva, uh, you know the history because of your boat tours that you do. Mm -hmm. What kind of changes have you seen throughout the years, even from maybe the 40s to now, which would encompass this group? Have you seen a lot of changes? Or do you, uh, historically, do you know of a lot of changes that are <coughs> major? So I would say just development. Um, more street lights, more houses on the lake. Um, mm -hmm. Perfect example is this photo. It was taken about in the 40s. Oh, uh, there's gosh. still Just two. Oh, I'm sorry. There's still two bridges going to Park Island. Oh my gosh! And yeah. <laughs> it's mostly farmland around the lake. Um, a lot of peach tree orchards and things yeah. like that around, um, but almost no houses. <laughs> so <sighs> we went from like 200 homes to ni over 930 homes on the lake. <sighs> Um, so oh, development goodness. would be huge. I mean, it's gone right. in little spurts here and there, but um, uh, just as a kid, I mean, I've been here since 83. I remember there being like one or two stoplights in town. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And I feel like now we need more. <laughs> yeah. So, right. um, but uh, what else would I say? Um, lake activities. Um, you know, we Crazy. used to have parades and things like that. Um, back when I was a kid, we don't really do, well, we do our lighted boat parade uh, for Dragon mm -hmm. on the Lake Festival, but. Um, and there used to be races on the lake on mm -hmm. Sunday afternoons, yeah. the sailboat, sailboat races. Sailboat. Do they yeah. still have those? 
No, no. I, in it's fact, I can't tell you the last time I saw a sailboat or uh -oh. someone water ski or, uh, you know, yeah. the sports have totally changed. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. now people pull tubes behind a boat and that's a sport. So many boats on the lake nowadays, it's oh, very yeah. dangerous to yeah. do any of those <laughs> activities. Uh, right. I agree with Reba, the, the building up of the summer cottages to mm -hmm. full-time year-round houses has been tremendous. Mm -hmm. uh, population on the lake has tripled. Yeah. <laughs> and here you grew up on the lake. Yes. Uh, my personal history started in 1941, also being born, but at Pontiac General and coming uh -huh. home to 83 North Shore. Uh, the family history, though, goes back to my father was born in 1902, and the family had a cottage on the base of Long Point at that time. Uh -huh. So he literally, in the summers, came out to that location. Uh, yeah, and right. the grandparents had homes around the village mm -hmm. as years went on. Mm -hmm. And my father and mother married in 36 and moved into one of the family homes mm -hmm. at 83, which was a cottage and my father winterized. And uh, that's where I came in. And uh, my memories are learning almost to swim or at least waddle around in the water sure. before <laughs> walking. Yeah. And uh, the some of the saddest days were Labor Day because all the people that came out for summer. The summer people. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the year-round population in my youth was about 20 percent and the rest was year-round. Sure, right. So th they came out on Memorial Day and would go home on yeah. Labor Day uh -huh. and the lake activity would be good and then at the end of Labor Day, yeah. it went to sleep, and it yeah. wouldn't wake up again until the next Memorial May. Day. Yeah. <laughs> In that same vein, my brother uh, was one of the rural route mail deliveries on the lake, and oh, his picture yeah. is in what used to be Margie's or CJ's or whatever <laughs> we're calling it now, and yeah. he has the little white boat that's there. And he would start that at uh, Memorial Day and go down to the post office and pigeonhole the mail and everybody around the lake would have mailboxes and he would deliver the mail and uh, finish at about two o'clock and at the end of the summer had a fantastic tan because he didn't did. have to wear a postal <laughs> outfit, just a swimsuit, as I did when well, I Yeah, I think all of us did. We yeah. just, f yeah. all summer long, wore bathing suits, right? right? <laughs> We'd put on a t-shirt and shorts to go to the store, sure. which brings me to you. Yes. Your family had a store right downtown in the village. Did, I bet yeah. you've seen some changes since then. Yeah, a few. Okay, talk um, about your store and the memories son. that you have there. Good Lord. Um, well, first, my, my dad's first store was the uh, east side of what's now Athena, uh, the, that new restaurant that's just on Flint Street. The, oh, it's kind of yeah, the, the El Mediterranean. Yeah, yeah, that place. Oh, Anita's. Uh, no. Anita's Kitchen. Anita's, Anita's Kitchen. Anita's. Anita's. Yeah. Right. We had that oh, for okay. Anita. Oh, right. that, that, right. was, that was his first store. Oh, okay. And then um, he moved uh, to 170 South Broadway, which was, the the Legion has taken it over, and part of it's gone. Mm -hmm. The, the uh, south part of it's gone, but the original, some of it, is still there. And John worked for my dad for how many years? Many. Oh, since 61 till yeah. 67, yeah. I think. And it was O'Brien's party O'Brien's party store, party store right? yeah. I remember it well. Yeah. We his used to get chocolate Yahoo. <laughs> 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 yeah, you do. Um, his, his, yours? The f his other store was the furniture appliance store. Oh, that, yeah, that he owned with Dwayne yeah. and, and Bill. Yeah. Uh, he Bill sold it to Bill Sweeney. Bill Sweeney, you're right. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah what's now some, it's a water place or some, it's been between, because the post office was the farthest uh, north building on Broadway right there before you got to the bridge. And then there was uh, the appliance store. And then uh, years and years ago, there was another small appliance store in there, uh, I don't remember the people's name, but they were very nice. Is that what uh, um, was at one time the post office as well? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's, so that's, that's what right I said. next yeah. to the the Legion. Or the yeah, the post office was okay. there. Right, that's the last building before the creek and the water, or you know the dam. The, the, dam. Mm -hmm, the dam. And um, then, yeah, my dad's store was was there, and um, originally it was. Uh, to enter, it was an indentation, you know, <laughs> with the tile on the thing, mm -hmm. and then um, they knocked that out, and he added that part, uh, the the south part, and brought in a huge 
ice machine. <laughs> and uh, you could, it was, it, it was the size of a small house trailer, I guess. Wow. And it was, it was automatic. Mm -hmm. You would, um, uh, you'd put in a, well, whatever it was, a quarter or, I don't remember how much it was, it was cheap. Block of ice. Block of ice, yeah, you could get a 25 pound block of ice or you could oh. get a, a 10 pound bag of crushed ice or wow. a 10 pound bag of Cube. cubes. Oh. And we got that from Detroit City Ice and Fuel in Pontiac. <sighs> And uh, my dad, uh, he claims that the day I was born, he hauled 13 loads of ice back and forth, and that um, if he had listened to my mother, he, I would have been born on Bald Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> my mother insisted on coming Aww. home, and he said, you're not coming home without a kid. Aww. And, so, <laughs> and so, uh, so she stayed there, and of course, my father was right, because he was always right. Right, Dad? And you were yep. born in Pontiac? Pontiac at St. Joe's, St. right? Joe's. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. just just before John was. There was only two hospitals, wasn't there? Yeah, General, General, General and St. Joe's. General General St. St. Joe's. Right, yeah. so when I was born, and I, I joke about this, and it's kind of a long story, but I was born when they were changing Pontiac osteopathic into POH from a hotel. Uh -huh. And then I was baptized at the Episcopal Church when it was a chicken coop. <laughs> Mm. And I came out backwards, <laughs> so I'm not doing too bad. I can yeah. still talk and walk and stuff. Yeah. You were born where, Reva? Did you say? I'm sorry. Uh, I in Detroit. That. Oh, you were born in Detroit. But Your family I, is has a history here, though, right? You're, it's Campbell? Yeah, is they're your college sweethearts and um, bought a house off of Indianwood Road right after college. And then wow. they had a used car lot uh, called Scott's Motor Sales off of... Uh, I'm 24. 24. It's where uh, Sherwin Williams sits now. Yes, I remember that. Right. And then uh, the marina uh, wasn't even invented, really yet. I th believe it was a carpet store. Oh. On this, um, at Flint and M24, it became available. I'm sorry. They bought the lower part first, which Spearings owned at the oh. time. Oh, okay. Thelma mm -hmm. Spearing. That was in the 70s, like right? Uh, or 70, 60s. No, yeah. sorry. Hold on. Uh, it was 89 when they purchased okay. the lower part of the marina where the gas dock is. Okay, right. Uh -huh. And then the mm -hmm. next portion of the property came up for sale and they just added on to the property. Oh, I see. And so that's they, they had, kinda, you were able to pull up and get gas from them, correct? Yeah. And there are also Galloway's for years you could do that yeah. off of Central. Yeah. But then theirs became the only place that you could get gas in mm -hmm. your boat. But that was convenient. Correct. Because you can't yeah. do that now, no. can you? Yes. There was, um, I think, four convenience stores around the lake. We had Galloway's oh. Market. We had Rick's Vans. Party Store and oh, Vans. Vans, right. Vans. Or it was originally right. called Vans. Vans and right. then it was Rick's. Rick's, right. And the one down on the bay was, uh, oh shoot, that shows your age, doesn't it? <laughs> what part of the bay? Uh, down where the, the marina is, uh, Robin's Nest. Robin's oh, Robin's, Robin's Nest. Nest. Yes, yes. Yeah. I uh -huh. should just okay. refer here. Uh, it was originally oh, yeah. Bell's, mm -hmm. and then it was Robin's Nest later on, but, um, but yeah. That's another one. And then my parents converted this into a home uh, oh. in 2005, I believe. Oh, okay. Um, but it's always been a convenience store for Lake, a uh, mm -hmm. little mom and pop shop, yeah. and it did very well for a little bit until we had a summer full of rainy weekends, and oh. they uh, decided to get rid of the the party store part of it and make it a canvas shop. So that's been a oh. very that's been very convenient for our lake because he's really the only canvas shop around. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah and that's it does necessary. Does a lot of boat canvas. Yeah. If you were a child living on the lake or around that downtown area, if you were walking, there'd be every block there'd be a garage or a house that sold popper chips. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, right. Uh, or a bait store. Sure. Uh, any almost right. uh, there was two or three on uh, Heights Road and yeah. and Park. Going out to Park Island, there's right. a bait store with uh, pop and chips. And uh, well, you got out to Galloway's and Swiss Village. I don't remember mm -hmm. anything else out there, but uh, I think that and was swim beaches. Mm -hmm. We had uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You had your bike. You had to go a ways to get to a swim beach. There was one on Bellevue. Yeah. It's private. It's you sunset. did though have a lot of access to the lake at that yeah. time, yeah. Oh, yeah. which brings yeah. that up that subject. Now it's even hard to see the lake yeah. because yeah. of the buildings that have been built and the oversized 
for the larger homes. I don't mean to say oversized, but but um, speaking of that, when, if you were a kid, you walked everywhere, you rode your bike everywhere. Yeah. I can remember riding or walking very young from Pine Tree all the way into town. It was no big deal. And in the winter, we'd walk across, across the, the lake ice. and do that. Yep. The kids mm -hmm. don't do that anymore. I'd have uh, Bill O'Brien, not Bill O'Brien, Bill Adams. He lived on Bellevue. He'd come across the lake. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine letting your kids do that now? No. He'd mm -hmm. come across the lake and pick us up and go back across and go over by Spearings. And there was a little ramp there. Oh, yeah. And mm -hmm. we'd mm -hmm. have the gun club, that which was underneath the wagon wheel. Back when, oh, when, yeah, uh, yeah, heck, yeah. I was yeah. 10 years old, but I would never let my grandkids do it now. No. But oh, heaven across no. Lake. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, first of all, it's right. not really that safe. I can remember lights. they used to put a car on the lake, and mm -hmm. uh, I think it was a, the oh, JCs. Yeah. 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 And they used, yeah. to, they used to bet, <laughs> right? Yeah. A lot of people talk about that on my tour, so. We yeah, do we, they? Yeah. We tried that as the Legion uh, a couple years ago, and uh, the ice was so bad, it, it'd go out in uh, February. Mm -hmm. Before we even start selling <laughs> tickets, you know, <laughs> yeah. it was a it was a lot of work for lost cause. We we don't have the ice in winters anymore. Mm -hmm. Well, please tell me, did they empty all the fluid and stuff out of the brake lines when they well, put those cars out there? Yeah, <laughs> kind of. They, they, they were supposed to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we we just made a cutout of a jeep. Uh, when we did it. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's the best way to do yeah. it. Well, before we wrap this up, I want to go around and talk about everybody's favorite memories about being raised in Lake Orion. Mm -hmm. Do you have a lot? I know. What's your oh, favorite, you John? Uh, running free uh, and not having to be home until the street lights came on. There you go. And uh, no worries about uh, being kidnapped or molested mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. anything. And uh, the neighborhood kids, the different areas that had their groups. We all went to school together, but then you always had your ri rivalries. Uh, <laughs> we played ball. If we weren't playing ball every day, we'd be swimming. And, uh, and it didn't matter where you played ball. You no. could play at the oh. park uh, at, off of Atwater, well, or you know, could go in somebody's of the ball backyard. Was <coughs> at, in somebody's yard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. or big yard. There was mm -hmm. a little ball field in Bunny Run. Behind the party store, there there's yep. mm -hmm. different places. We had oh, one yeah, uh, off yeah. of uh, Pontiac Street, uh, up a Heights Road. Uh, we had one on Bellevue Island where the dump used to be. Oh, down in the middle. Yeah, down mm -hmm. in the middle. I there. remember there was that. A, there was a dump there at one time. And oh, I don't remember that. <laughs> well, you know, I don't either. But we had to dig in there a few times, just like oh, you found all the behind uh, <laughs> Evas on. Uh, oh yeah. Uh huh. Axford uh -huh. Street. Uh, yeah. That was a dump. I'll be there. Uh, all kinds of in that swampy yeah. area. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now there's houses there. Oh yeah, <laughs> well, two yeah, of them, they're right? a little farther back. Oh, okay. but, uh, yeah, there's there was a few dumps. Yeah, and, uh, we'd dig up the bottles. Oh yeah, I'd right. save them for the. Well, I think man. there was w a, a time, maybe in the 30s, you just dumped everything in the back of your property. We had a farm on Indian Lake Road, and we had a huge, mass of bottles and. Well, old back then back you uh, you had a burn barrel and you'd burn everything. Oh, you burned everything. What yeah. you couldn't burn, plastic and everything. You would take and maybe once a month load it up and take it out Kern Road. There was a dump on Kern Road. Oh, right gosh. Right where the sawmill was. There was mm -hmm. a sawmill there. Wow. Yeah, and uh, that's gosh, where we took so all the to trees about. from the ice storms. Would we took it all out there? Oh, for heaven's sakes. Yeah. A lot of stories on Kern Road, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. We can go on and on as far as yeah. branching out. What's your favorite memories of growing up in Lake Orion? Oh, well, um, <laughs> uh, a lot of them, a lot of them. Well, mm -hmm. one, one thing is everybody knew everybody, mm -hmm. um, so you always right. felt safe. And, and um, you behaved. Oh yes, they knew your I parents. <laughs> I certainly do, <did. laughs> yes. because everybody in town knew my dad. Yeah, and of course. So I couldn't. <laughs> step off the curb improperly of without course, right. being, yeah, well, I, uh, we had, my, my dad had a red and white pickup truck and it had a very low first gear and I had to do a delivery for him on um, Newton Drive. Oh, wow. So I went, and, of course, I, I had to be 16 in order to deliver it, the, the beer. I wasn't selling it, I was just delivering <laughs> it. <laughs> Get that straight. And so I went down there, delivered the beer, got back in the truck and I thought, I think I'm going to see if I can pull a whole shot. 
Oh gosh. So I put it in the lowest <laughs> gear, first gear, and I popped the clutch and it screamed and it shot forward and by the time I got back to the store, which was less than a mile, there mm -hmm. was a complaint. Oh gosh, okay. <laughs> yep. So that was the last time I did yep. that. That's the good and bad thing. The good and the bad being thing. Being yeah. in a small town. Right. Reva, how about you? Oh gosh. Maybe come back to me. Let's go to Harry. Okay, Harry. <laughs> I'm trying to well, uh, my recollection is we used to play bicycle tag and the limits were M24 on the east side and water on the west side. So oh my goodness, the entire that's quite a side and yeah. play tag with bicycles. Uh, being raised on the lake, I spent my time on the water. Yeah. Uh, I had mm -hmm. the ability to drive a boat by the age six. Oh, I was wow. driving an inboard boat uh, by age nine. Wow. Uh, and I, during my life, involved in th building of three different boats, uh, one of which was a cabin cruiser uh, that my parents built in the wow. backyard and there. Uh, so my life is around water, mm -hmm. and uh, we would play games on the water. We would do that. But in the winter, what did you do? You went back out on the lake and ice you skated. ice skated and yeah. did that. The mm -hmm. only dull times were in the transition when there was no ice or not really water right. and that's spring and fall. Mm -hmm. And so those times you would occupy yourself however you could. I didn't know what a pool hall was until I went to university. Uh -oh. I just had no, no need to go to <laughs> any of those uh -huh. activities in that. And so uh, my life was very simple around the lake. Although we did have a pool hall oh, yes. at yeah. one time downtown yeah. Lake But my activities were <laughs> elsewhere yeah. on the right. water. You were, yeah, yeah was, I hear what you're saying. It was managed very well. No swearing, no, mm -hmm. no rough housing in there. And, uh, Except for my brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well I know, a story goes that uh, they did away with pool tables in Oxford and Orion kept theirs. You know, you mm -hmm. get a pool stick or a ball mm -hmm. in your hand, mm -hmm. it come, becomes dangerous. But mm -hmm. I don't know, I think that was in the late 60s, early 70s. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, we had two pool halls. And, and that became the wagon wheel, right? The one that was right downtown, and then the wagon wheel moved over to Savard's next to the dance. Savard's Hardware. Savard's, right. Uh, the old youth center. The youth center, uh, yeah. Uh, but there was a pool hall on Broadway where right. uh, just north of Front Art. Street. Next to yes. Arts. Yeah. Well, next yeah, to Arts. Pizza. Yeah. Next, next to, to Arts, arts right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Arts party store. And then the other one was pizza uh, store. next to the furniture store uh, where Ron Allen owned uh, across from Margie's, mm -hmm. where Barney's is, or the yeah. Oh, yeah. off Stables uh, was. Yeah, down the by the old bank. The vacant lot. The now. bank, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That used to be the yeah, bank. There was a pool hall there, too. Vic ran one, and the other one, I can't remember his name. I probably wrote it down. But uh, yeah, that goes way back. Some pretty good uh, memories. Be, be yeah. Best pizza mm -hmm. in town was Arts. Arts, mm -hmm. I know. Well, I think it might have been the only, the only one. <laughs> except for there was the um, spaghetti place on M24. Oh, what was that? Pasquale's. 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 Next to Gus's. And yeah, yeah, we could go on and on, right? A, yeah. The A and W, I remember that oh, being yeah. on mm -hmm. M24. Yeah. yeah. Uh, with the roller, the women with the roller Is that Starbucks now? No. The A and W oh. was on the other side Peach. of the street. Clum. Starbucks oh. was yeah. a Hardee's. Yeah. Hardee's. Star that that's was my what first was. job. Yeah. I was fifteen when I started there. Okay. And then next to that, where Opa's is, um, was Richardson's Dairy, mm -hmm. which Mr. Jimmy Hoffa went there every night for an ice cream cone, and I got to meet him several times. Right. The other was pizza nice place meeting. was uh, right behind. Was there another pizza place? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hmm. He was in L and S complex. Uh, so Mar Marcos. Marcos. Mar oh, Marcos. Oh, Marcos. Yeah, yeah, that was. I can still remember the phone right. number. Di remember the <laughs> <Right. driver. laughs> yes. Yes. Yep. Six nine three eight eight. Eight eight. Oh, oh. I can still remember the number. <laughs> that's pretty bad. That's pizza. I'll make you remember that. The beauty of being young. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no I, kidding. Hoffa used to come into my dad's store all the I time. I bet he did. Yeah. He was and a he, very nice man. He was a very nice man, yeah. and he'd tell my dad, he'd say, "Bill, he said, just give me whatever you can't sell." He said, "My guys would drink uh, anything." Isn't hmm. that something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He yeah. gave uh, the the kid that lived next door to him graduated the same year I did, and Mr. Hoffa had the party. Oh. So it was at his house and Hoffa's house. Yeah. He was just a generous man. Yeah. And I don't know what his politics were and I don't know why he ended up the way he ended up, but he was a nice man to the people in Lake Orion. Mm -hmm. Your memories, did you come up with some Oh good yeah. Ones? Um it, it, 
just hearing everybody else's stories kind of sparked some of my own, but we used to have bass tournaments at the marina, oh, and I remember yeah. watching all the f big fish come in and yeah. lay down on the scale, and I was just amazed at some of the big fish that would come out of Lake Orion. Yeah. It made me almost scared, in a way, <laughs> to <laughs> swim. <laughs> but right. um, uh, another one is we had a rope swing at the Darling Cottage. Oh. Um, and it was like the saddest day of my childhood when it got struck by lightning. Uh, and wow. yeah, it's mm -hmm. no longer there, but I uh -huh. was like one of the coolest girls oh, in school because yeah. I, I always had the uh, end of the year school party oh. and we would come and play on that rope swing all day. Uh, yeah. yeah, no kidding, yeah. all day long, right? Yeah. Over by the Darling Cottage, yes. the wharf there. Yeah. Uh, Back in the 60s, there was a tree, and it was shaped like a dragon. Oh, yeah. And it's they were going to develop the road around there, Darling Drive or whatever, mm -hmm. and they never did, but uh, I was sent over there to help cut that tree down. Oh, and then, did it uh, break your heart? <laughs> well, no, I really didn't even know what it was till after. Uh, <laughs> well, I was just a kid, a you know, tree. but uh, yeah, that was, a, that was a little image of... Uh, Lake Orion Dragon. So, where exactly is the Darling Cottage? That was over off of Indianwood, correct? The, no. uh, the oh. Darling Cottage, uh, so the bay of the oh. marina would be right over here. Got it, okay. Uh, this photo was taken in about 1900 and color was wow. added to the photo. Wow. Um, but this house was the very first home built on Lake Orion and Ooh. it was 1883 is when it was built. Really? It was just torn down in January. Unfortunately, oh. didn't the Adams used to live? Yeah. The yes, yeah. Yeah. yeah, went to school with uh, some of yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, they. Oh, um, yeah. She was a beaut. <laughs> Wasn't there a hotel right around that area as well? No. On Bellevue. Bellevue. On Bellevue, was on there Bellevue? was two hotels. Oh, yeah, right. really Sorry. a good reason for us to yeah. come back. Yeah, because there's Absolutely. so much more. I'd love to to um, explore the reason for the dragons and why we're dragons. Oh yeah, um, that came out of the lake. There's been many tales of things coming out of that lake, so that would be a fun thing for us to explore next Probably as well. Probably Harry and his buddies that built it and scared everybody. I read that story. I don't <laughs> think it was you, but Boy, it yeah, that's said a great story. some young boys <laughs> made it, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah, right. So, yeah. yeah. No, it was before my oh. time. <laughs> <laughs> It was fun. So yeah. my favorite memories were pretty much what yours were, swimming all day long, getting up and putting our bathing suit on, running down to the water um, and swimming. Family reunions, we'd have people, yeah. our families come up from the city, which was really fun to be able to host them. Um, like I said, we lived all over the lake. My grandfather built three houses on Central and one on Bellevue, so we were all over the place. And then there was Long Lake too. So we got to know everybody within the community. It wasn't just, okay, you go to that school and I go to this school and we're not gonna know each other till we graduate. It, everybody knew everybody in Lake Orion. Even, even I'm sure you graduated a lot longer after we did, but even then, um, that it was a great place to grow up, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you brought up lake activities, uh, wintertime. Uh, mm -hmm. Lions Club would uh, host the snowmobile races yep. for years and years. Right, after And there was car races popular. also on there the ice was. at one time. Yes. I don't yeah. remember Mom. the car races, mm -hmm. but... Uh, Wasn't that around Park Island? Uh, Park Island and some, somewhat out into the lake. They had two tracks. One was a dry track, dry meaning no water on it, and the other one they would chop holes in the ice and let water come up. On purpose. So that oh, would be more gosh. slippery. Wow. Uh, and <laughs> there and the wow. cars that prevailed back then would be Volkswagens and Saabs uh, <laughs> to do that. Uh, big, powerful cars couldn't sure. survive right. on that, but it was fun. They yeah. had a serpentine type track on it. Yeah. yeah it was, uh, and if you weren't doing that, you were playing in the swamps. I grew oh, up yeah. off the of Heights Road, so sure. between Heights and Clarkson Road, there was probably three major swamps the backwaters of Buckhorn, and right off the mm -hmm. cove of Heights Road, there was a big swamp that went in. We build rafts and float around all day and play uh, Tarzan. You know, if you go back in the yeah. real long history of that, when the people from New York first started coming out here, mm -hmm. this was a very swampy mm -hmm. area and, and difficult to get to or from. Mm -hmm. And that 
you know, for the farming aspects of it were difficult because there was so many swales right. around here. But farming did take place, and that's why the dam was built originally, was to make backwaters, which made the lake, and that became the place for the mill to, uh, to grind the, the, the wheat and crops that they grew back in the late 1800s. And so the mill was right where the dam is today? That was where the, uh, I, I, I really don't know that for a fact, but there was another one that was down on Paint Creek further. Mm -hmm. uh, Kern oh, Kern. right, yeah, further out. Down by that Kern was the Road. first settlement, right? Yeah. But the one that made the lake itself is pretty much right where it is now. And in the early days, there were seven ponds that were in that stream that came in from Indian Wood to Paint Creek, and they put that dam of 18 or 20 feet in there. And so the backwaters then created what is now the configuration of our lake of that we have now. Lake. And do you have any idea how many miles of shoreline there I is? I think now it's about 30, including the canals. Off of Indi uh, Pine Tree. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, all the shoreline. Okay. Yeah, and that was built in the 70s. I yeah. that. Canal yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. On the Kelly Farm. And yeah. yes, it used to be, Heights Road used to go down by the lake. Mm -hmm. um, Buckhorn, is that Buckhorn uh, Lake? Kelly's. Right there? Kelly's. Kelly's, Kelly's Park. The Kelly's Park, Park. Yeah. right. Yeah. And then up to Joslin, and now mm. it just goes straight over yeah. Yeah. with yep. all those big houses. Yeah. yeah. We uh, also oh, had fun. the tubes going underneath 24 that uh, went to the Edison plant where uh, Oak oh. Soda is, I mm -hmm. believe. Oh. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it generate electricity for the street lights. Oh, it didn't generate, okay. it, a lot of people thought it generated for homes. I think it was strictly Just for street, street lights. lights. But oh. back in those days, being in Edison, you could go in with your old light bulbs yes. and yes. get new light bulbs. Yes, you could. Or, <laughs> or, <laughs> or even a burner. Mm -hmm. Or they'd come out and repair your electric stove for free. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we have a lot more to talk yeah. about, um, but I think we're gonna wrap it up for today. And I think that was an exciting conversation. It's really fun to relive some of those memories and hear about the ones that came before we did. But yeah, I thank uh, everybody for more. coming. And uh, we have a couple more people on the committee that last minute uh, something came up and they weren't able to make it today. But uh, I think they can contribute a lot too, so. Well, I think we could have a lot of conversations and, and rotate. And I think it's um, interesting for the people that are new to this area to get to hear I was very fortunate they were putting this together because Carrie's father was the preceding historian of the village and then yeah. Stidshar. Uh, uh, Budshar. Budshar. Budshar, mm -hmm. uh, right. And sure. they were the previous generation. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I'm sure there was another generation before yeah. that. Yeah. And then unfortunately, there's some written record, but there is not this, what we're doing now, which right. hopefully goes into the posterity and into the library yeah. for future times, mm -hmm. right. and I would hope that there will be another generation that will talk about it yeah. another time. Thank goodness COVID's over with and we can get together. This has been postponed for about four years. A couple years now, yeah, we've been long, trying to do long this. long time, and right. we've lost a couple uh, people that uh, yeah. were gonna be on the committee, and uh, right. uh, I Brother. also have another longtime resident, store owner, uh, Dwayne Decker, mm. uh, yeah. that, uh, Dwayne's getting up in years and he's very emotional and he had uh, a lot of tra tragedy in his life uh, during the war. Mm -hmm. Lost four brothers and uh, he gets very emotional. He he uh, thanked me kindly for inviting him but uh, he thought he'd just sit out. And well there's a lot of people that we all know yeah. that have moved on beyond yeah. Lake Orion well, um, that Serena. we can talk about that help build the community to what it is today. So there's more for us to talk about. I want to thank Orion Neighborhood Television for hosting yes. us today. It's been enlightening and exciting and I want to thank everybody here Thanks, for uh, coming and sharing your stories. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Join us again.